hello everyone how are you doing today just like you saw in the title of this video yes we are making a webflow website for the first time technically not the first time i built the webflow website mm, in 2023 when i was learning webflow but i didn't take it seriously after that luckily for me a project came in and i've designed the figma file and now we're trying to build it in webflow and after that i'm going to bring you an expert to quit my website and tell me how I can improve. So, without too much technical stuff, let's, let's get, get started. started. And to see what we're going to build, this is it. We are going to build the home page this year. This is, we are going to build this part. All the workflow today. I have some animation styles in mind. Over here, this will be sticky and stuff. And the funny thing is, I have never built a project in workflow without full tutorial. Like previously, I was like, copy the tutorial. Copy it so you did, and I learned in the process. So, I have a basic idea of how webflow works but i don't have a large overview that oh this is webflow this is that and because this is not just a normal site this is going to have cms and so much more there's so much to keep in mind but if i can figure this out i'm sure that the rest of are going to be easy like it's going to be a breeze and don't worry by the time i'm done with the project i'm going to make a big overview again like okay this is how it's went this is how it is so you can all learn from my mistakes or my learnings anyways um so let's get started Hey guys, from this, this is top of so I took a break and I'm back. The things we've done so far is the middle section. We still need some fine tuning, but now I'm going to go on Twitter and mention that I'm building a site in Webflow. And would anybody have a question regarding the email website? So I can make a QA section at the end of this video to answer their questions basically. Um, yeah, my first time playing this now, let's see how it goes.
messages with thumbs up. So I uh, welcome responsiveness lead sir. I think I've done something presentable enough, you know. I'm, I'm not super impressed, but I'm like, wow, I get this, you know. It's been a while I played Black for so I think it's an you know, achievement. Thank God for client first, because I've been way more harder. And um, with that said, I will get my friend to come over soon and give me feedback on the design I made. Yeah, peace. Welcome everyone. Now today, <laughs> I have I have a friend here with the Reflex Part. His name is Manuel. Is the founder of Full Script, um, a designer, UX designer by day and maker by night. And today is going to be critiquing my fairly okay with with flu build. So Manuel, if you like, would you like to introduce yourself? So yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Uh, Manuel, um, I work full time as a UX designer. Why build the store with Webflow? Right, and also on the Webflow expert with uh, close to four years experience building on Webflow. Also, <laughs> also building flow scripts, right? Building yeah. flow scripts to help Webflow developers add functionalities to their sites with us code. Just, just had to plug that one there. <laughs> yeah, sure. I didn't yeah. even say. The first thing I noticed here was this button here is not aligned. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so if you notice, this is just a little bit weird. I mean, so if we come here now and we check this, if you notice this isn't aligned properly, it's probably set to align at the top mm. um, rather, than, rather than center. Right, that's that just one of the first thing I, I noticed. And also I would also say, why seeing this, there seem to be um, a lot of space between each of these texts, like the viewport height seems a little bit too spaced out. And there isn't that much of like they, they feel like like three different three different texts as a whole. Because the That's design okay. I, I designed it already. I couldn't replicate everything I designed. For example, this image I seen here with the dog was meant to be sticking yeah. towards the edge, like towards the right hand side of the, the screen, edge. instead of oh, okay. yeah. But I, I didn't answer that. I and I'm I'm following um things with clients for guidelines, so it was something that I, I wasn't sure how to What's the word? Uh, the, like it's, it's it's more of like a design system. It doesn't mean that it is um restrictive, right? Even Realm Realm use FinSuite um design system, right? But it doesn't mean that it has to be like that stuff you are saying. Like, it's possible you can do that, right? You just probably set it to like reduce the the um the margin so to extend to the other side. And mm -hmm. on this part, um the sticky works wall. But somehow I feel like the gap, the padding here and on this bottom are way too too close. Somehow. Mm. It seems like either you're using two different containers, like to set a max yes. set or something. Yes. But like this sure. one here, you can see it's aligned, then it's no longer aligned anywhere again. So does it code make someone a better workflow developer? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I would say it depends because, like, if you want to get started with Webflow, you don't really need to learn how to code at all, right? Like, there are several. Like, it's pretty simple. Um, like the list of I would say you need to learn in terms of HTML is just box model and and it's just basically how every site is built, like a box in a box in a box in a box. The rest of everything is handled by Webflow, like CSS. Um, it's handled by Webflow without you even knowing the CSS. But like the more you use Webflow, 
definitely you get more ideas regarding okay yeah this is how this is how workflow works this is how it translates what you are building the designer into code right and mm. the other end if you have some idea of code it's just, because there are sometimes you face some limitations and code just open that doors <laughs> Mm. You get like that sometimes you want to add some stuff in Wayflow and if you know how to code or even right now if you don't know how to code, if you know how to reach a GPT very well, then it's um, basically like solve solve those problems. But learning how to code is great, uh, but requirements to learn Wayflow, no. no. Thank you very much for your time. It's really yeah, amazing you. and we appreciate you. Where would you like people to check you out on people that check this out? Oh yeah, yeah then. <laughs> 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 well, Twitter um, okay. and LinkedIn, yeah. yeah so people check this out, yeah. You know, well, <laughs> but probably Twitter or LinkedIn, yeah. yeah.